Russell Mays here, director of content for Jatai. Today we're going to do another celebrity haircut breakdown. And today we're going to focus on Miley Cyrus. One of, oh, there, Miley Cyrus, one of my favorites. Um, she always has the coolest hair. She's fearless when it comes from going long to short. And I really love that undercut kind of mohawk thing she had. But she's got uh, a little more of a rocker edge to it and what they're calling a pixie mullet. So we're going to focus on that today. And as I start to look through, you know, pictures that I'll, I'll show you up here uh, on the internet of hair that she's had, it's gone from like really short and cute uh, to a little bit longer and much more glamorous. Um, you know, it really has a lot of versatility to it while she's growing it out from the short look to the longer look. And uh, it has a little bit of glamour to it, but it still has a little rock edge to it. So we're going to focus on that. And as I'm looking at this, it looks like the edges are really, really textured and soft, but it still has a fairly solid shape. So it doesn't have a whole lot of internal texture, just mostly on the ends to keep it soft. She has a little bit finer hair. So that allows you to keep it more blunt internally and just soft on the edges. My mannequin head's got a, a mountain of hair, so we're gonna probably do a lot more texturizing on this to try to get it to match. Uh, the shape is, is very, very just round and neutral, but I think what really makes it is the fact that it sh the bangs are shorter in the middle and they get longer as they go and normally a bang will stop here. Hers almost stops at about the front of her ear. And then you have a little bit of gap just covering the ear. And then at the mastoid, it just really drops down to something really long. So we're gonna almost bowl cut the front with some texture to kind of give us that, that shape. And then we're gonna keep the back very long and probably disconnect that. And then uh, surface razor it so it encourages the hair to kind of flip up so at least that's the game plan so far so we'll see how it goes these these always kind of make me nervous because it's like i think i can do it and we'll, we'll see how close i can get all right so let's get started so i'm going to start in the back just so that i can get my line back here to the length that i want and then i can disconnect the front however i like once i get there but Let's just go through, take a natural or center part to the crown, to the uh, occipital bone, straight down to the center of the spine. And then let's go through occipital to the mastoid. All right, so now we've got our section here, our, our baseline section. And I'm going to take a pretty hefty section right in the middle. If I'm looking for something that's that's really clean that I want to build some shape into, I'll take a smaller section, especially with the razor, because it can only handle so much hair. You can only load so much hair in with the blade. This, I'm going to actually surface cut the top a little shorter and then the underneath a little longer, and that's going to encourage it to flip. So I'm looking at where it's gonna hit on the shoulder. So I'm gonna go somewhere about right here to kind of encourage that. We're gonna surface cut. Plant my fingers. Okay, so let me, let me explain the mechanics of this. Combing everything clean from the root all the way down, getting a good grip. The first couple of strokes that I'm gonna take are gonna be fairly broad, taking some of that hair off the surface. Once I get through maybe half of that, I'll focus on just cutting the length on the bottom. And I can't really see the guide, 
So I'm strictly just using the force to guess where it's going to be. And then go back, clean that up if need be. And there we go. So by cutting that surface layer a little bit shorter, it's going to encourage that to kind of flip up and out. I'm also not going to introduce any sort of separation and movement going forward. I want to keep it all nice and even and central and neutral. Plant the fingers where you're going to cut it. Okay, let's move on. I'm just going to continue the same sections until I run out of hair. As I'm going through, it's important that I keep the hair the same dampness throughout the entirety of the haircut. So instead of using water, I'm going to use some Jatai Blade Glide to help with that. Not only will it make it easier to section and comb, but it makes it easier for the razor to glide through the hair. So at this point, I want to introduce a little bit of graduation into it, so I'm going to elevate the section, and by me razoring it the way I am, that's only going to encourage it to flip a little bit more. Pull out off the curvature of the head like this. All right, so now we're going to continue on around the front. To go through and section around the front, I'm going to take the first bump from the center part to the top of the hairline over the ear. So we've got this long hair here, so I'm going to start right in the middle and that's going to be the shortest piece so I want to take a really thin kind of section as my guide so I've got this little whisper right here and that's going to be our short piece in our guide Oops. Add to that. And now I'm going to start going through and introducing a little bit of movement by going from one side to the other. Don't cry, girl. It's okay. So when I'm cutting flat, so when I'm cutting flat, I'm not introducing any kind of movement. When I'm going from one side or the other, that's when I'm introducing movement. So the center piece is not introduced in movement, and as I work to the sides, I will. Take a section here, make sure it's wet go through, add a little bit more,
And I think I need to take that a little bit shorter through there. I think that's a good start. I think that's a good start. I'll probably uh, put some more texture in it to remove some of that stiffness from it, but I think our line is shaping up pretty good there, and we'll see how it goes. We'll try to do the same on the other side.
Okay. Okay. We've got that as, as about as good as I can do right now. My patience is running thin. <laughs> All right. So we got this first section fit in fairly well like I like. Uh, we've gone through and taken a little bit of weight out. We've got a, a nice kind of, you know, kind of bullish kind of look going to about where the mastoid is from the center on down. And then we're going to continue that back to the mastoid. So I'm not going to go past the mastoid, but I'm taking everything to it. So our next section is going right there, and I'm going to continue to pull this forward to continue that shape down. Now when I get here, I'll probably take that back a little bit, but this part here, I'm going to have to fit in visually to where I feel like I have enough of a separation and this flips out, but not so much that this keeps it in front of the shoulder. Because if I leave too much hair in the front, it's not going to have that same separation and throw the weight behind the shoulder. Take a little more of that off right through there. Yeah, and I think that's I think that's gonna be come on baby, come on. I think that's gonna be a good start. So let's take some weight out. Okay, now the last section on this side, I'm going to go straight up and down from the mastoid. So I basically pivot, whereas we're used to pivoting from the crown and working around, I'm going to pivot from the mastoid. So the, the last section was here, this section is going to be here. This is going to separate all the hair in front of the shoulder versus the hair in back of the shoulder. Okay, I think that's a good start there. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side, match it as closely as we can. Here we got our, our base cut in, so let's take a look at it. I think we're getting pretty close. So we've got a nice kind of bowly shape through here, shorter in the front, with a little bit of blend right there behind the ear at the mastoid. We got this hair in the back that kind of flips out. And same thing on the other side, got a nice little texture to it, and uh, not bad. So, so let's go blow it dry and see how we need to fine tune it. So we're back from drying it. So 
as I'm going through and, and looking at it, I think the overall shape around the front is pretty good. I think our length here is pretty good. We've got too much hair through here. And if you remember, we haven't layered it. All we did was cut our perimeter shape. So I want to take some of this weight out through here. And I don't want to go through and just cut it blunt and then go back in and try to texturize it. So I'm going to cut it straight from the beginning with nothing but texturizing scissors. And I'm going to use the fabulous to tie Tokyo's and it takes out enough hair and I'm going to go through and just evenly round layer this top to take some of the weight out through here. Taking my center section, holding everything straight up, and then I'm just going to go through and thin it at different areas until all of that hair kind of disappears. I think it's a little redundant for me to go through and cut a blunt line and then just go back in and try to thin it or texturize it so that it's soft. Why not just cut a soft line in? in the beginning. Pivot this around. Come on. Continue to pivot around the head. Take my previously cut guide as previously cut section as my guide. Pull that up. Cut that through. Previously cut section as my guide. Continue to pivot. That out of the way. Nothing there on that side. All right. We got that layered through. And I think that that helps quite a bit. Now from looking at this, I think we need to fit this in here a little bit more because these mannequin heads, the hair gets so stiff right over the ears. I want to fit that in a little more. And I think I want to take a little more of this out through here to really exaggerate that separation from the front back.
Yeah, I think that that's fitting in a lot better through there. A lot of times haircuts like these is all about just getting the texture right and getting the proportions correct. Once you get the proportions correct and the texture right, you're 90% of the way there. Got that. Okay, good, I like that. I think she's got a little too much hair right in through here. So, take a little bit of that out, look at it. Yeah, that's better. Take a little bit of weight out through there. I didn't like the way that was looking. That's ah, better. That, now that, I like that better. See how that is flowing a little bit better through here and we don't have all that weight build up? I like that a lot better. Now that we've taken some of the weight out through there, it flows a lot better. It's not quite as stiff and it, and it resembles the pictures a lot more. Now, obviously, my model has a tremendous amount more hair, so I have to modify it to make it fit. So as long as I get in the general vicinity of the shape, I'm pretty happy with that. Here's our finished polished result. I think we've got, uh, I think we got pretty close to it. I think the shape's pretty much there. Um, my mannequin head has a lot more hair, so I had to do a lot more texture to it. But there are certain elements that really make a haircut iconic or really make that haircut stand out. And on this one, I think it's the fact that you got these shorter bangs in the center and it kind of bowls over and really kind of gives you this bowlish shape back to the mastoid and then drops into this longish kind of flip here. The rest of it you can kind of play with and make up as you go. As long as you're getting that kind of fundamental shape, she was tucking a lot of this like behind her ear and then letting that kind of come forward. And I think if we had an ear, we would certainly tuck it behind our mannequin head's ear. But the general shape is there and I think we did pretty good. I'm I'm fairly happy with this. I'd give myself a seven and a half out of 10, but each time it gets better. So I hope that, I uh, hope you enjoyed that. And uh, let me know if there's any other celebrities you'd like to break down and see how we can do their iconic hairstyles. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.